morning. And thank you so much for being here this morning. What a great day for us here in the city. Um, you know, it's a beautiful day outside. We have a great sports team in the Phillies. We have a school district that's on the rise with nine straight years of test scores. So it's just... <laughs> It's a wonderful day to talk about partnership between these two great entities, and um, there's no one better to do that than the mayor of our great city, Mayor Michael Nutter. Lori, um, good morning, everyone, and thank you. Uh, Lori Shore, of course, as uh, folks know, is our chief education officer uh, and executive advisor uh, to uh, the school district working with uh, our acting superintendent, uh, Leroy Nunnery. Uh, we have a great, great uh, group of folks here today, and I'm going to do my best to introduce a bunch of folks who made uh, today possible. The first, uh, of course, uh, is uh, the one, the only, and a very, very beloved uh, Philadelphian and happens to be a sports uh, superstar. Please welcome Ryan Howard. Joining Ryan, of course, uh, is the Howard family and the Ryan Howard Family Foundation. Please recognize Ron and Cheryl uh, Howard, who are uh, Ryan's uh, parents. And uh, can't say little brother. Uh, he's taller than everybody here. But please recognize Ryan's brother, Corey, uh, who's also with us. Corey, thank you. And I uh, want to uh, give a special shout out uh, to, uh, to Crystal. Uh, thank you, uh, Crystal, for being here, uh, Ryan's fiance. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> the school district, uh, as, uh, as Lori mentioned, uh, let me uh, come back for one second. Um, we are, um, Lori mentioned the school district and some of the great uh, gains uh, that they've been making, and I'm going to talk about that uh, in a second. But uh, we are very, very fortunate. Uh, here in Philadelphia uh, to not only have been designated, which we already knew, uh, just took the rest of the country a while to figure this out. Philadelphia was recently designated by Travel and Leisure magazine as the number one sports crazed city in the United States of America. But we already knew that, right? We are a great, great sports town. <laughs> and one of the reasons for that uh, is that we have uh, one of the best sports organizations, not just what they do on the field, but also what they do off the field. We have one of the best sports organizations in the United States of America, and that is represented by the Philadelphia Phillies. Can we please recognize the Phillies uh, here? And they, um, in, the, in a very public way, uh, they have many, many uh, faces, and a couple of their folks are here with us uh, that I get a chance to work with on a regular basis. And certainly uh, Dave Montgomery and Ruben Amaro, Jr. are here with us, and can we please recognize them and the great work that they're doing. Uh, Charlie Manuel, of course, uh, what, a, uh, what a great, great skipper. And I have a fuller listing of the entire management uh, of uh, the Philadelphia Phillies, but I will not read off uh, that list uh, this morning. Uh, the school district, of course, uh, is a great, great partner uh, with us as well and will be the beneficiary of a significant amount of generosity. And so with that, I also want to recognize our acting superintendent, Dr. Leroy Nunnery. Uh, And uh, some of his, uh, we'll keep with the baseball theme, some of his teammates uh, are uh, Penny Nixon, Dennis Creeden, uh, Robert Coleman, Claudia Alvarez, uh, and Estelle Matthews. Can we please recognize uh, all of them? <laughs> School District, of course, has a uh, working partnership and relationship uh, directly uh, with the policymaking entity, uh, and that is the School Reform Commission and our great chairman of the School Reform Commission. Uh, Pedro Ramos uh, is in the back. Please recognize our chairman of the FRC, Pedro Ramos. And of course, uh, we have our most uh, important and precious asset uh, here in the city of Philadelphia and all across the country, our young people, our students. These are student athletes, uh, and we have students and principals and teachers and athletic directors from many, many different schools who again will be the beneficiary of today's announcement. 
Some of the schools that are represented are Ben Franklin High School, Franklin Learning Center, Girls High, Northeast High, Dobbins, South Philly High, Gamp, and Baldy Middle School. You'll be hearing from Baldy uh, in a second. At a time when the school district uh, and uh, many cities across America are facing a significant financial crisis and challenges and cuts uh, being made uh, almost uh, each and every day, uh, today's announcement uh, also recognizes that uh, the importance of athletics and art and music uh, are also being directly affected by these tough decisions that unfortunately need to be made. The school district directly uh, educates 150,000 students and then another 40,000 plus in charter schools all across this great city. They cannot face these tough times alone. We need Philadelphians who care about the future of our young people to step up and help. And there are a number of ways, of course, to do that. You can volunteer. You can become a graduation coach. You can join the school advisory council. And once again, we want to make sure that our parents are paying attention to what's going on in the lives of their children. I've been impressed by the increased desire of our community to volunteer in our schools. And our chief service officer, Katie Wolfgang, and her team uh, can attest to that, more and more people wanting to step up and be engaged and involved. Can we please recognize Katie and the great work that she and her team are doing? <laughs> but today we're here to announce an extraordinary and extraordinarily generous donation by a Philadelphian who really wants to help. Ryan Howard, first baseman. Ryan Howard and the Ryan Howard Family Foundation has now donated more than $1 million in athletic apparel and shoes to the Philadelphia School District. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. Thanks to this donation, 57 high schools with school-based teams will receive shoes and clothing. Four middle schools have regional athletic programs will also receive some of this apparel as well. You know, participating in moments uh, like this, uh, quite honestly, is some of the best of what being a mayor of a big city uh, is all about. These are some of the finest moments uh, that ever happened uh, for me and many others in this kind of position. It's wonderful to be in a room full of uh, wonderfully dedicated and focused young people who care not only about their education, but want to be involved uh, that much more uh, in their uh, doing athletics uh, and uh, other things uh, to show their school pride and also demonstrate uh, their athletic prowess. It's my hope that we'll have more partnerships like this uh, to announce uh, in the near future where citizens and businesses and philanthropic organizations step up and help out. Everyone is responsible for the education of our children. Everyone can do something. I don't expect everyone to come and be a teacher or go into a classroom, but there is a role to play for every person in this city to be involved in educational excellence for our young people and demonstrate time after time after time that you do really care about kids. Parents, neighbors, and local businesses, community leaders, all have a responsibility and a role to play. And so first, are we, Katie? Are we done? Okay. And so first, uh, before I introduce uh, Ryan, um, and, uh, who's going to uh, talk about uh, this, uh, this gift that he's giving uh, to the school district, uh, I have one gift uh, to uh, give to him. Uh, this is uh, one of our highest honors uh, here in the city. It's a symbol of uh, not only freedom and liberty, but also friendship. Now, we actually own uh, the Liberty Bell. We lend it uh, to uh, the National Park Service. We let them uh, take care of it. Uh, but, uh, Ryan, uh, they would not let me bring uh, the real one uh, to you, um, in addition to the fact that it actually doesn't ring. Um, but this one does. And so on behalf of the city of Philadelphia, let me first present to you uh, Liberty Bell uh, as our small token of appreciation for your big gift uh, to the city and to our children. Thank you. And so with that, ladies and gentlemen, the great, great Philly and the great, great Philadelphia, Ryan Howard. Good morning. Good morning. And thank you. I'd like to extend thanks to uh, Mayor Nutter, the mayor of this great city of Philadelphia, 
Dr. Nunnery, Mrs. Shore, Mr. David Montgomery, Mr. Ruben Amaro, the Philadelphia Phillies. All of us at the Ryan Howard Family Foundation feel very blessed to be able to share our good fortunes to help the school district of Philadelphia. I'd like to give a special thanks to Adidas for their contribution of athletic shoes, I'm sorry, of, yes, of athletic shoes to the foundation, which helped us to expand uh, our gift to the school district. When we look at the budget challenges that the school district faces, it's important for us to be able to each kind of play our part. And it's important to us to become more active in our actions to be able to help promote a quality education, educational environment for our students. Our gift of Adidas athletic apparel, valued at $1.152 million. Well, 1.2, as the mayor has directed me, if we, if we want to round it up, has been positioned to reach over 60 schools with the, in the district with the specific goal of reducing financial pressure on athletic programs. In addition, the foundation's holiday giving program will also provide turkeys, school supplies, and coats to over 500 families in the Philadelphia area that are in need. Again, the mission statement of the Ryan Howard Family Foundation is to improve the quality of life of disadvantaged youth and families. The foundation also supports programs that promote education, health and fitness, and the economic growth for these families throughout the Philadelphia region. Thank you. And now it's my pleasure to introduce the interim um, superintendent, the School District of Philadelphia. And I want to take this moment to say for the last, I guess, month and a half, I've been, maybe it's two months now, I've been working down inside the school district. And just to say I've never worked with a group of smarter and harder working people. Um, they've taken tremendous budget cuts. And um, just my hat's off to all of you and the hard work that you do all the time. And we're glad to be able to work together. But I want to uh, invite to the podium now uh, Dr. Leroy Nunnery. Well, good morning. What a terrific day. Uh, Mayor Nutter, you've got to be proud not only of your city, but the leadership that he shows in trying to make sure that bridges are built and that we consistently do what everybody says we can't do. We excel. And I, I'm really proud of being with the mayor, with Dr. Shore. Uh, my, my daughters are going to have an absolute fit to know that I stood next to Ryan Howard, you know, but that's good for me. I need that cachet because um, sometimes it goes away. Um, you know, I, I live not too far away from David Montgomery, and I see him every once in a while, and somebody with the style and the sense of, of compassion that he has and that Mr. Amaro has, um, and obviously the Howard family, is unparalleled. And I think what we're trying to signal today and for going forward is that this is not just about athletic gear and about what contributions people can make. It's also about a sense of pride in where you live and what you do. Um, I couldn't be happier to be serving in this capacity, but also to keep pushing so that we get other folks to contribute to what we're doing. For all of my young folks over here at, uh, from Philly High Schools, please stand up. Let the, let the crowd see how beautiful you are. And we have, some, we have some middle school students. Stand up. So this is, what, this is what it's all about, the ability to not only support them, to, but to have them have the, the sense of pride that the Phillies have every day when they go out on the field. So you all can sit down. Now, you're not, you're not in detention. It's OK. <laughs> But I do want to say that I'm, I'm especially proud of all of you because you excel not only in the classroom, on the field, at home. We want you to keep sending that message out there that Philadelphia schools are great schools. We're going to continue to make them better. 
So with that, I'd like to say thank you all. What a terrific day for all of us. God bless. You're in detention. <laughs> no, I'm in detention. Actually, there is a young man I met uh, just a few minutes ago. I, I asked him, uh, you know, he's in his football gear. Zachary, come on up here. From Baldy Middle School. <laughs> now, you are what, 13 years old? 13 years old, 5'11", an offensive tackle. This is why I stopped playing football. Uh, <laughs> they were getting a lot bigger than I am. Zachary, why don't you tell everybody why you're here and uh, give us a sense of, uh, of what you think today is all about. Well, we're here today to just thank Ryan Howard for his donation of $1.2 um, yeah. million. Dollars. <laughs> and we're just very thankful. It's going to help us for the school district, give us equipment, help us out, and just, we're very thankful. Thank you. and uh, Ryan was talking to Zachary and it was pretty clear that uh, Zachary was, was a little nervous and, um, and Ryan just uh, gave him one, one word of advice, breathe. Uh, so, but uh, I, I said to Ryan, uh, looking at Zachary, I mean, if, if I was 5'11 at 13 and had his uh, size and sc I mean I don't know what I'd be doing I mean I, 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 I really have gone on to do something um, so um, but uh, let, let's give uh, Zachary a big big round of applause one um, one last comment um, this announcement obviously is uh, is tremendous um, but I, I on a personal level I, I just have to tell you that uh, I get, as you can imagine, I get a lot of calls uh, in the course of a day, and some are really great and some are really not so great. Uh, but uh, when I got the call uh, from uh, Mr. Ron Howard uh, that uh, this opportunity existed, and so I want to be very clear about this. Ryan Howard Family Foundation called us to tell us that there was uh, this opportunity, and we immediately connected them. Uh, and Lori and, and, and Lee to, to put this together. But this was their outreach. I had no idea uh, that uh, this kind of opportunity uh, existed. And uh, to, uh, to Ron Howard and certainly to uh, Cheryl, uh, Ryan's uh, mom, uh, we've met on a previous occasion, and Corey, what a wonderful family. Uh, we were together was that, a year ago out, at, uh, out in Hunting Park. Uh, there's a park that's being revitalized uh, in our city system as a result of the Ryan Howard Family Foundation as well. So this is not a one-time thing. This is not a first-time thing. This is a person and a family that care about this city and are setting an example uh, for what those who uh, have that opportunity to demonstrate their uh, athleticism at the highest possible levels uh, can do in making this connection with young people is critically important, again, not just for the athleticism. It's also about giving. It's also about the meaning of uh, being engaged and being involved. And as I said earlier, Ryan demonstrates that individually. The Family Foundation demonstrates that. The Philadelphia Phillies demonstrate that on a regular basis, which is why they're one of the best sports franchises and entities, not just in Philadelphia, but in the United States of America. Thank you so much. Thanks again. Let's give a big round of applause. Thank you.